Well, once again, it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and let's get right to it. Okay, here's a trick with a deck of cards, and we're just going to wipe the front of the edge of the cards a couple of times. And as we wipe the cards, we find that sooner or later they change. Real close. Wipe the cards, wipe the cards, wipe the cards, wipe the cards. Ten of clubs can become the eight of spades. The Eight of Spades becomes the Five of Spades. The Five of Spades gets smaller and changes to the Four of Spades. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers. Once again, time for the Root Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about a sonic handpiece. I used to say that was a great adjunct to any root canal. I now believe that you should always have a sonic handpiece when you do endodontics. And I'm going to show you how in the next couple of minutes. Stay tuned because at the end of this presentation, I will show you how Endo Solutions will let you have one of these great devices 20% off if you order by May 31st, 2010. So here's how it works. Begin by inserting the file into the MM1500 handpiece. You can either use the Rispy Sonic or the Shaper Sonic, but I prefer the Shaper because it's much less aggressive than the Rispy. To insert the file in the handpiece, simply pull back on the cone, slide the Shaper Sonic up from the bottom through the little wire depth gauge, and once you have placed the file in at the proper le depth, let the cone slide forward. You can adjust it at any length. There's a built-in depth gauge which allows you to position the file exactly to the depth you want and it will not go any deeper than the depth gauge to the working length. Once the file is inserted into the 1500 handpiece, you can adjust the tip until it oscillates back and forth between one and two millimeters. The adjustment of the tip is done by turning the little knob at the base of the handpiece. Turning it clockwise speeds it up and once you get the file going at the proper oscillation speed, then insert it into the tooth, insert the file until you feel resistance, back up a couple of millimeters, then turn on the handpiece. Once you begin cutting with the handpiece, the water spray goes down the file, and you use a series of backward strokes, cutting circumferentially around the inside of the tooth, wiping all of the walls of the inside of the canal. This will get the irrigating material to all parts of the tooth. You can then complete the preparation using your standard rotary instruments. When the preparation is complete, go back in with the sonic handpiece without using any water spray and you can use it to irrigate and activate the sodium hypochlorite that's in the canal. Use the sonic irrigator file, which is a non-cutting instrument that's designed specifically to activate fluid in the canal in a sonic acoustical streaming manner. Don't forget to turn off the water when the file is inserted into the canal. The acoustical streaming forces the irrigating material into lateral canals and all of the little fins and nooks and crannies to do a much better job of irrigation than otherwise possible. Okay, give Endo Solutions a call at the number right across your screen and they will see that you get a sonic handpiece 20% off and you can also get four packages of the Shaper Sonic files for the price of three. Don't delay. Call and order it right now. See you next week. Well, that's it for another edition of the Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and I will see you at the next Endo Root Camp.